Hey YouTube, Dan of all things here. Lake Powell overlooking Wawweep Bay. June 11th, water level is 3571. Just going to go over some water hazards and navigational beacons at the lake. Just for some information for people heading that way. So you see in these pictures, boats traveling all through the the bay going up here. And I'm going to, there you go, zoom in. And you do see a navigational beacon right down there, green, kind of hard to see. But you also see a houseboat traveling between two water hazards there. One on the left, fairly hard to see. Um, especially when you're on the water, those are really hard to see. We've got a better vantage point from up here. So in this video, you can note the green buoy here which is indicating the left side of the deep water channel, which is close to the shore, which makes sense. And you see how mu how wide this area looks, but everybody always tells you to travel mid-channel, but mid-channel is not necessarily in between the two banks. So here you see the red beacon, and up above another red beacon, which those are called nuns. And the red navigational beacons called the nuns represent the right side of the deep water when you're traveling upstream or up lake back towards the source so a lot of these boats might be thinking they're traveling mid-channel when they're really traveling far off outside the channel of of deep water so the the channel is following somewhat this arc that the boat is following right there so as we saw with that houseboat, most of the ha water hazards in the lake are unmarked. As the water rises and falls, there's simply too many for the park service to keep up with, and they don't even try. The red and green navigational markers are permanent and always in the main channel to give you guidance going up and coming down to stay in the deep water. But if you're inside a bay or off the main channel, there are no markers, so you're just on your own to make sure... So it can be confusing sometimes trying to remember red and green and up lake and down lake. But one thing is to try and remember the three R's, which is red on the right on the return. Meaning that you're going to pass the red buoys on your right side as you're returning to the source of the water, which means you're going up lake. And then you can just try and remember that also coming back down that it's the opposite. So now we're coming down to simply another vantage point overlooking the same area, but a little closer down towards the main channel where we can get a better view and another water hazard and some beacons here that we can look at. And so right here at the mouth of the canyon, coming into Wawweep Bay from the main channel to these buoys that you can see um, right down below here, three of them in a row, that's a wakeless zone between here and the main channel, but here comes a boat just cutting through at full speed and going right over top of a marked water hazard without even slowing down. Okay, so we had another boat coming in. I was going to see if he slowed down for the wakeless zone, but in fact, he actually was turning around and going back the other way uh, before he hit the wakeless zone. But as I'm going to zoom in here, and you can see some other markers in one of the rare instances where the Park Service did mark a water hazard. But what, you, what looks like probably discolored water, those are actually rocks underneath the water there with buoys around them to mark the fact that there's a hazard. You see the hazard there. So coming over back to the main channel, I'll zoom in. You can see another one of the red nun markers over there. Um, and you can kind of see here, obviously, where the main channel is snaking like they normally do. So if you're looking at it this way, you'd want to go to the left side of the marker as you're going out because you're going down lake. If you're coming in, you go to the right side. And these other boats doing wakeless like they're supposed to. You see these boats coming in. As the water gets deeper, those rocks won't be so much of a hazard, but then as the lake starts draining again, they'll become a hazard again. 
And uh, over here, you can see that boat. I'll zoom in. You know, he's going left side, or excuse me, right side of the green marker, taking the green marker down the left side, um, staying in the deeper water. These videos shot from this general area above the lake, just showing a map to get an idea of what we're looking at here. And another map just zoomed in a little closer. So going back, the green and the red markers are marking deep water. If all else fails and you can't remember what you're supposed to do, aim for the red or the green markers and just pass very close by them. And you should be good no matter where you're at. Um, if you're passing too far outside of where they are, you may hit a shoal or a rock or something on the shallow ends, um, thinking that the water is deeper than it is. The red and white markers could be indicating instruction. It just means you need your attention. Could be a wakeless zone. Could be a hazard that you need to stay away from. Could be a swimming area. Could be the marker of a name of a canyon. Um, so the white ones, you do want to get close enough to see maybe what they are. But if they're marking a hazard, you want to stay away from them, um, not go near them. How you doing? Here's just a better close-up picture of your navigational buoys marking the deep water in the channel. The red one on the right called the Nun, the green one on the left called the Can. Doesn't really matter what you call them, they're navigational buoys, navigational markers. Just the just as you're looking at it right here with the green one on the left and the red one on the right, that would be what you'd be looking at if you're going up lake. They're generally staggered. Here's just a better example of the no wake marker. Your typical white, this marker represents a lot of things. You just got to look at it to read what it's telling you. So here's a depiction of the three different markers. It would be on the same type of buoy, the small, skinny, uh, white and red. The no wake, the swimming area, danger, hazard, um, so they don't always have words on them. Sometimes it'll just be the the symbols because they're universal. But the diamond is always a hazard. Basically, it just means stay away from it, go around it, but don't go right to it. 